Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to build and release your Flutter application. So the, the reason you may want to do that is for two reasons. One, you may want to distribute the APK, for example, which is the installation file. So you might want to share it with friends, family, anyone else that might want to test it. We might just made something for friends and family. That's one reason. Another reason is the more likely reason you'll generate a but what's called an app bundle, which has another you know, APK part of it, and that's so you can submit to the app store. And to do it, it's actually really simple. Assuming you've got your app all done, you're happy with it, you've tested it. What you want to do is go to Android. So if I didn't mention this is how to build and release for Android, we've got a separate video for iOS. You want to go to the Android folder, and you basically want to open this up in its own separate. Android Studio window and easy way to do it, if you just open any one of the files and click open for editing in visual I mean in Android Studio it will open up like this you'll probably open up that specific file but you'll open it up and once you're in here this is just the Android side of your project and what you do from here is go to the top go to build and obviously if you're on Windows or Linux it doesn't matter the the, the principle is exactly the same. You go to build, generate signed bundle. If you just want to quickly share stuff, you know, building the APK is fine. But if you want to, you know, upload it, you want to do generate signed bundle. And again, if it's for uploading, you select Android app bundle. If it's for just deploying it to individual devices, you select APK. So most likely this one. And click next. And now what you want to do is specify. A key store path and if you don't already have a key store you, you can choose one if you don't you want to create one so we're going to create one I want to specify the path as the desktop so the desktop and obviously the name is untitled we need a password I'm going to put one two three four five six you need a minimum of six characters no in the current version we might change in the future and um, you can change the alias or make it something a bit more you know relative and you need to put all this information in as well i'm putting random information make sure you remember this password and make sure once we you know once we click ok you will soon get these two files you'll get another file very soon and make sure you keep a a, a copy of that for so if you want to do Google app signing, you need to export the encrypted key as well. So I'm just going to export it to the desktop, click next. So you can either do debug, which is really just for testing. And the other main one is release. So, so this is the destination folder where it will actually produce it. So it's the my project folder, Android and app. So release, click finish, and it will just take a bit of time to just go through this process. Now it's done. It might take a little bit longer for you. You can click locate and you'll open it up. So Android, you go to app, go to release, and this AAB is the application bundle. That's what you would be uploading. And if you look, we got two files here now. You got the private key and the actual, you know, the, the key store. You want to make a backup of this. I would recommend a local backup, a cloud backup, you know, somebody that you trust, email with them as well. Maybe you have a business partner or a developer that's on the team. Make sure you keep backups of this because if you lose these, you will not be able to update your application down below. So that's just something to bear in mind. And then that's it. So, so we've got to the stage from here, you can upload it to the Google Play Store. There's, you know, plenty of resources out there to show you how to do that if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video